hello, hello. Today we are going to be doing the Kid Robot and Clutter Kaiju Dunny Battle Series. Um, now, this isn't going to be too long of a video um, because I do not have a full case of these. Um, I actually got these from a online giveaway held by Spanky Stokes. Um, he actually did a case opening of these and then was kind enough to do a giveaway that I entered and happened to win. Um, so I, he then sent out all the duplicates that he pulled from that case that he opened. <clears throat> very cool of him. Um, very cool. So I will try to remember to link all of his information down in the description. Um, uh, all his social medias and um, YouTube channel if you want to go back and watch you know, the full case opening that he did. I don't know that he got a full set, but um, he got a pretty good mix of them. Um, and uh, Spanky Stokes is a toy blog, I believe, first and foremost, but he also, like I said, has a YouTube channel and an online store. If it's not down there, just you know, check back, because I might not get it down there right away, but, um, but anyway, let's get into it, and like I said, these were duplicates that he pulled, so that's why they're taped at the bottom, so they're already opened, so I'm just gonna open them that way to make it easier. That is really cool. Really, really cool. Most of the time how it works with these Dunny Mini Series is, um, the Dunny Minis from the, the series are roughly 3.5 inches tall. And when they do a multi-artist series, it's usually going to be either each Dunny comes with an accessory or each Dunny is sculpted. Obviously, this one is sculpted because it has four legs. And this one is by Candy Bolton. So, really cool. I'm really glad I got this one. This was one of my favorites out of the series. Next up <clears throat> is the Ugly Unicorn Variant, uh, Rare Variant Edition, um, which glows in the dark. And that is by Rampage Toys. And I actually have the, um, the Sofubi or soft vinyl version of this, um, which is also a mini, but, you know, a little bit taller than these. This one doesn't seem to want to stand up. The head is very heavy on this. But it looks cool. Really cool sculpting. All of this is sculpted. Textured. I'll just lean it up against there. Next one up. I love this one. This is another one of my favorites out of this series. 
I was really excited when I saw which duplicates that he got because I think um I think a lot of the duplicates that he got were actually some of the more rarer ones. Um, which I mean the more rare ones don't necessarily mean they're better, but it just so happens that some of them were color variations that I liked better, um, and stuff like that. And this one is by Jeff Lamb. And it comes with an accessory. Which is like ruins or like buildings. Wow, it's a lot like softer than I thought it would be. This is um, soft vinyl. All of this stuff is soft vinyl. But it is kind of hot up here where, where I'm doing this. But you know, because it's a kaiju series, so keeping in keeping with that theme. Kind of like they're wrecking the city. Anyway, next up, try not to take too long on these and drag it out too much because it's really not that much to get through. I almost went and got a case of these myself just because there's a lot of artists in this series that I like. But I'm kind of waiting on the upcoming series. Um, Divination Series 2, The Lost Cards, because um, the first one I really loved. And um, this is another one by Rampage. He's really cool. Kind of like a giant bear type, I guess. Something like that. He's got these metallic teeth and nails. And he comes with like a, an accessory of like a screaming woman. I guess that he's captured. I'm really having a tough time getting her in there, so I'm just going to leave her like that. I don't know if that's how she's supposed to go, but... Anyway, next one. <clears throat> this is another one of my favorites from the series. Um one of my favorite artists out of the series too. This one is by James Groman, which is really, really cool that they got James Groman in this series. You know, I don't know how many are, of you are familiar with his work, but if you get a chance, um, definitely check him out. He just does really wild, detailed sculpts. Um, really nice work of stuff like this, um, which this looks like a dinosaur to me, long neck dinosaur. It does. Like dinosaurs, kaiju, giant monsters. Um, this one's really cool, and it's, there's spikes on his back here, and they're like harder plastic. But really cool to see a dunny in that style with the long neck and the smaller head. This is one of the ones that was really, um, that they kind of like advertised the series with, um, by showing off this one. It's pretty cool. And this is by Buana Spoons. I believe that's how you say his name. Um, 
cool kind of cartoonish, funny sculpt. And of course, he's got the two snakes for hands, cobra on this side, and maybe they're both cobras, I don't know. And the last one. Another one by James Groman, which is another dinosaur, and this one looks to me um, to be like a uh, Triceratops, but I mean, just like look at all the detail, you know, all the scales and horns. Um, just really nice. I love these these two especially together. And there's one there's one other one by him in the series that I think is like a super super rare one um, that I wasn't lucky enough to get. It's not even pictured on the box, but anyway, I'm just happy to have gotten the ones that I did. So that's going to be it. Um, thanks again to Spanky Stokes for holding that giveaway and sending these to me. I really appreciate that. And um, again, check uh, down in the description for all his info. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.